Breaking news. Suspected kidnapper disguising as lunatic nabbed in Ondo. Hello, my wonderful people. A suspect who, guess what, one of the Fulani headsmen. So the new one he has re they've resorted to now is pretending like he's a he's a madman, okay? Like he's he has the the sickness of uh, is is lunatic, okay? But guess what? He knows what he's doing. He wants to kidnap, but he wants to ensure that people are not putting eyes on him, disguising very cleverly, okay, under a fine disguise, pretending like a lunatic person who is uh, you know unwell, and before you know it kidnaps and run away using that opportunity to spy out the environment to understand the terrain know when people are around when people are not around who goes out and who comes in and at what time who would possibly be around at that point in time and all that mm? guess what god will bless amuteko some people would not like the sound of that too because the even nigerian army is kicking against amuteko right now please do not forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe let's get all the details Suspected kidnapper disguised as lunatic nabbed in Ondo. A 30-year-old man suspected to be a kidnapper has been arrested by operatives of the Ondo State Security Agency's network known as Amutekun Corp. The suspected kidnapper identified as Laba Ibrahim was said to have faked being a lunatic and display lunatic behavior when he was apprehended. Ibrahim was arrested in Akure garage, area of Ondo town, the headquarter of Ondo West local government area of the state, following the suspicious manner he was dressed and walking. According to source, the Amuteko operatives in the area who had been monitoring him for some time pounded on him when he was about to pick up by pick up some child who was dropped off in a, in a school and he was monitoring. He did not know he has been washed. He picked up the child and someone in a black jeep arrived to pick him up with the child in his hand when he was nabbed. One of the source who claimed to be hawking in the park said, Prior to this arrest, he was noticed walking aimlessly like a lunatic to and fro Akure garage in the whole of the junction from place to place before the black jeep pulled up beside him to carry him. His action raised suspicion, which made people around the area gathered and beat him up. Meanwhile, the suspect confessed that he was not a lunatic, but working for one man called Rabiu. Adamu in Akure, the state capital. Ibrahim, who claimed he is from Sokoto, narrated how Rabio, his, so his in-law, took him to Akure Park and put him there in a car going to Udo town. The man paid me 700,000 700, naira and later gave me 1,005 to use as transport The car and paid the car driver who was going to Ore from Ore to Ekbe, where I am going to work. He did not tell me the kind of work I will be doing. Rabi was coming behind in his black jeep with three other men inside the car. He told me to remove my SIM card and put it in the Akure garage roundabout and before proceeding to Ore, where I was arrested because of the way I was dressed, he said. Amutekun Corp in Ondo town disclosed that they have been watching him for some time. They notice he comes and go and that a black jeep has been picking him often. They have been watching all his movements. So this guy has been picked up. This guy has been picked up. This is what is going on. This is what is happening. Ibrahim, non, see, they don't just work like that, okay? They have people who they are working for and are working with. They have a group they are working for and they are working with. They have they, they are in a synergy, they are working together. So this is what is happening. You think that it's just somebody dip, dis, displaying some lunatic display, but no, that's not true. There's a green plan. There is more to it. Okay, and 
This is what the governor of Ondo State is seriously working on and ensuring that Amuteko is working well. And this is why you see that um, uh, they've left, Nigerian army have left Ondo State saying that the governor is targeting the Fulanese. What is he targeting? He's ensuring that his people are protected because whether you like it or not, we are not saying all criminals are Fulanese. No, that's not what we are saying. All criminals are not Fulanese. However, this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And whether you like it or not, this is becoming the new, this is becoming the new order of the day. And so if you don't protect your people, you don't protect your own, you'll be shocked and surprised by some of these things that are going on and are happening. And so the, the governor is really, you know, strengthening and ensuring, supporting Amuteko to be stronger and to be better. And this Nigerian army has told Nigerians that the governor pre prefers uh, Amuteko. And so, I mean, they are not going to be able to walk, you know. They are not going to be able to walk with, with on those states. They left all the checkpoints. But the governor has since given reports saying they, they don't need to be alarmed. You don't need to be worried. They've left all the checkpoints, but that's fine. That's very fine because we've got security agencies to replace them cleverly. And the security agents, I can tell you, are working even better producing better results, okay, more, better things are coming out of this, better results than you can ever imagine. So this is what is happening, this is what is going on, and Nigerians, it is a wake-up call. It is the dawn of a new day. It is the governors that are really sincere and truly want to protect their people that will get their people protected. Why the others who are neither here nor there, who we don't understand where they are, we get their people, you know, lined up as either chickens or the sacrificial lamb. All that is happening right now, if you if you stand for nothing, you stand for everything. I mean, you stand for nothing. Okay, if you don't have what you're particularly standing for, what will happen is that they will take advantage of you. What is it going to be? For Governor Luru Timi Akeri Dulu, he's standing for his people. He's ensuring that it may be an APC governor, but guess what? He says, no, being an APC governor is one. Protecting my people is another. Their lives are important. I'm not going to keep quiet and allow any Tom, Dick and Harry to come and do whatever they want to do. Leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. Let it count. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now. Bye.